Hi, uh, this is Landis and Gear uh, E650 and uh, as you can see it's being powered up uh, right now uh, you see there's this uh, DC power supply I'm using a I don't know 12 volt yeah you can see here 12 volt yeah it's 12 volt power supply uh, just plug it into here according to the manual and this is the RS485 communication module uh, without the power supply the communication module is not gonna work so and this is connected to my laptop through a USB to RS485 converter in this case I'm using U port 1150 so you see this is RS485 right so let's go to my uh, laptop uh, so now let's look at what I have uh, on the laptop uh, as you can see I already installed uh, this Guru X uh, director yeah so this Guru X director uh, let me load up the file I have actually saved this uh, previously when I do the test uh, all the settings are in here so what I need to do is just click open yeah and I'm gonna maximize the screen and as you can see uh, I have previously read all the registers uh, using this software uh, basically it's all here if you don't see anything um, which means it's not reading right so what I'm, what's gonna happen here is I could connect so when I connect you see the communication going on uh, when I read you see it's gonna read you see the communication is blinking and you can see here it's reading the data from this uh, Landis and gear uh, meter you see yeah so perfect so what it's gonna do is reading all the available registers uh, using DMS protocol so this is all it is uh, it's reading right now so you can select uh, some of these you see value is zero so from here you can do a manual read you see this button you select when you click read and it's gonna read right so it's still reading right now let's wait for a minute now um, access error device report read right denied so there are a couple of these errors which I'm not sure what are those um, yeah I think it's done reading so what's gonna happen is you select this parameter and then you can click read so it will read say for example I'm gonna throw this away I'm gonna click read so it's gonna give you zero and let's choose something um, the energy is zero so I can't differentiate um, and let's look at the date and time uh, I don't know let's look at the uh, uh, I don't know date of last last configuration yeah and uh, you see it's is empty and uh, I can click a read it's out of range not valid uh, see the date will come back in uh, I'm not sure what that means too uh, time of operation yep you see there's a value being read yeah uh, instantaneous value uh, except frequency instance value of frequency uh, it's not connected with power that's why when you read again uh, it has always been zero but I believe it works uh, instantaneous value and then there are some other clock uh, clock let's look at the clock uh, 410 uh, no now it's not 410 uh, I'm not sure if the meter is 410 we can do a read yep it changes the time you see this is all in DMS uh, protocol so yep it does read um, register monitor I don't know what is this um, well anyway in a nutshell what is important is the energy value uh, which I believe is this active and deactive this is two most important value that you can read and um, Yep, so I shall conclude that um, 
by using Gulu X uh, DMS director you can actually read them so now back to Gulu X website yeah uh, what's gonna happen here is this software a uh, good thing about it is open source yeah and uh, you can use the uh, functions and libraries that it provided to uh, to develop the driver and this can be read uh, from your software so as you can see a couple of uh, yeah it's just some of those manual so we're gonna yeah this is the forums that you can play with and yeah, let me close all of this stuff uh, I found a forum uh, about yeah here you see if I open this link you can see here yeah so this guy is trying to read the uh, Landis and Gear Meter as well and down here you could see um, yeah all these settings blah 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 yeah so you can write in your software to use a, a scheduler to keep reading the data continuously so you can make use of these uh, Gulu X uh, functions yeah? so there are lots of information here that you can develop and read yeah so yep yeah, that's it